Hello, what is up? I think something froze. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. It's been a while since we took a look into the world of Melvor, and I have achieved a lot since then. Uh, last time we were trying to come up with ways to make cartography go as fast as possible. I succeeded in some, and after that I succeeded in even more, and then I got cartography... Every time this happens, just turning off my TV <laughs> completely reshuffles every single window on my computer like three times. But uh, I think this has happened before while I was recording and it wasn't that big a deal. Anyways, so uh, I got the surveying interval down to like less than a second per survey, which was pretty sweet. And then in short order, we were able to master all 944 hexes which gives us this awesome minus 3% interval for all combat and non-combat actions. Just everything in the game is now going 3% faster, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we also got the pet from that, which I thought was maybe just, you know, does nothing because that benefit of the 3% speed increase is already enough. But no, uh, this guy actually doubles the effects of all of our uh, point of interest in cartography which is sweet. Right now we are chilling at the monolith because we're doing a whole bunch of archaeology. That was next on the hit list. And uh, we actually hit a lot of pretty cool milestones that I was hoping to make videos about. Like, on paper, I would have been like, yeah, for sure, I want to make a video when I hit 120 archaeology or when I unlock all the dig sites or all that good stuff. Uh, but I just didn't get a chance, which is unfortunate. So now we've got a lot of catching up to do in terms of stuff I want to talk about. Uh, and there's some pretty juicy content that I, I haven't really fully explored yet that we're going to be looking at together in this video. So I'm almost done archaeology, sort of. Uh, I have yet to discover Melantis. That's definitely something we're going to be focused on in this video. And I've got almost all the artifacts from everywhere else. I'm working on one undiscovered legendary here, and then there's two undiscovered things in the watchtower that I need to knock out as well. And then after that, it's all stuff from this final dig site, the mysterious Melantis. So I've been getting all this stuff, I've been donating it to the museum, I've been getting all these sweet rewards, which really helps with the grind. Um, but I haven't really looked at what this stuff is. Uh, and I know a lot of it is actually useful. It's like consumables or equipment or things that are upgradable, things that are just interactable in any way. So I think what we're going to start with is uh, looking at all of that good stuff. Um, just kind of looking through these treasures I've discovered and doing whatever we can with them and figuring out what other stuff needs to be done to get the most out of them. Uh, then I want to spend some time doing the combat that we've unlocked through all of this uh, digging around and spelunking, which uh, I think is pretty much all of it now, uh, except for this, which we need to find Melantis for, but everything else... This dungeon, it looks like we're going to chain some dungeons together to get a little further ahead. Um, but I, I think we can do all of that on video. I, I don't think any of it will be that hard. And then finally, as our finale, we are going to try to figure out how the heck to get to Melantis. Which, uh, I got this Melantis clue. Go to the pyramid... Wear mystic water gear. Wear expert something something. I don't know. We'll try to figure it out on our own. And then if not, we're going to cheat to do it. Because I want to get to Melantis. I think it's going to be kind of like a clue hunting thing. Where this isn't Melantis itself. But we're going to go here. And then if we have the requirements, we're going to get another clue. Uh, which is a lot of fun, and I like the idea of ping-ponging around to different locations on the world map in order to solve a little quest. But, you know, one thing at a time, that'll be the big challenge. Uh, let's instead first take a look at all the stuff I got. Uh, so I haven't really sorted my... I haven't sorted my bank straight up, 
since I started this grind. So this is basically in the order that I got these items. And uh, we'll see. We'll just kind of check them out. This I already made use of. I've upgraded all my tools to this final level, the relic level. And this stuff I assume we're going to get in Melantis, so I'm not concerned about that. This we've dealt with. This bow is neat, but it sucks. <laughs> uh, the wooden cart is just for selling. Uh, these were super, super helpful to uh, increase my farming yield. So that's already been spent and dealt with and stuff. Um, made sure to really prioritize those. This, unfortunately, is just a sellable. I wish I could equip it as food. <laughs> uh, that's an upgrade thing. This is just the sellable. Uh, this, this is adorable, and I wish it did something. I don't know what I could want it to do, but it's cute. Uh, sellable, sellable, sellable. And it's like, oh, I'm passing over these things as if, you know, eh, whatever. But I think it's neat. Like, I think this was a good way to do it, that most of the stuff you get is just sold, uh, if you want, and a lot of them don't even sell for that much. But it fleshes out the the atmosphere and the flavor of each of these dig sites, I think, so much, and makes them into, like, a more cohesive place where somebody would have lived. So I don't mean to be, like, dismissive and go, oh, it's just for selling, but it is what it is. Okay, here we have an upgradable. We need a fire cape, which we've got a ton of, and ten of these golden silk to get a golden fire cape, which is badass, so let's do that. Nice, can't be further upgraded. Is uh, probably a pretty big downgrade for any sort of combat cape, but you know what? It's swag. Okay, this we've dealt with. <clears throat> That's just a sellable. Uh, this, oh, it's a ruined woven bag. There was another type of bag that I saw I could like turn into normal basic bags. Ah, uh, here we go, yeah, yeah, so this is useful. Um, I think in crafting now, yeah, so this is something that we need to master, so maybe we'll end up converting these for mastery experience. This is not an equivable necklace, it does nothing for us. <laughs> some fabric, some more coins, stuff to sell, old broken door. Uh, this thing cracks me up. <laughs> Undiscovered dusty torn book of a dangerous untold knowledge from the past with missing pages. And I I thought, ooh, this is something spicy. This is like we're gonna get the pages and add them to the book and something will happen. But no, I think it's just kind of a joke <laughs> that it has such a long name. Sellables. Oh, this is a chest. Okay. Great. Okay, well, these are actually new items for us, so we need to, to pull a few of these. I'm not gonna open all of them because you know I'm, I'm now I'm kind of in the mode of I want a living item decks, and uh, I have the money to just buy infinite bank slots, so there's no reason to open all of them. Nice, that's two new objects, two new items. Uh, this one we can actually eat for a whopping four hit points, <laughs> uh, but that's cool. The old vase or vase, if you will. Uh, this thing I also sought out. I cheated a little bit because I was just looking for everything that decreased cartography interval and this one was listed so I sped run getting some of these and getting the other quill that you need to combine to upgrade it. Uh, so again, you know, using the wiki sparingly as little as I can but uh, I just really wanted to get through that cartography grind. Uh, this is used to purchase a shop unlock, uh, which is this. Sweet, we can buy this. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> uh, I don't think any of the other ones I managed to get enough, so we're going to have to grind that some more. This is a sellable, very expensive sellable. Uh, ooh, this has stuff in it. A bunch of logs potions, and leathers. Not really all that exciting, but I'm curious to see what we get. Yeah, not that exciting, but that's okay. Cool objects, another unlock thing, gold bars that sell for laughably little, I'm gonna say. Another chest. Okay, those, those are all useful in their own way. Um, we'll just pop those open. I've been watching um, 
this guy Limpwort, who has a fairly famous RuneScape series called Extreme One Chunk Iron Man. I'd heard of it a while ago, and I tried to watch it, and the mic quality was, like, pretty bad. <laughs> and, uh... I I just like couldn't get into it and then a friend of mine that plays a lot of RuneScape was over and was showing me it and, and basically saying the mic quality is going to get better. Anyway, so I got over that first episode and the mic quality super improves and just this presentation ability improves a lot and then I got super invested. It's an amazing series. It's like the most deranged thing I've ever seen anyone do in a video game. Uh, and uh, now I feel... <laughs> like, so ungrateful, so privileged that I, I get an item like this that's full of these runes that are, like, so hard to get in OSRS when you're playing it like that, one chunk at a time. Uh, and, and these insane uphill battle grinds he has to do. And I'm just like, eh, yeah, I guess we got a couple of thousand death runes from that. I don't know. I'll probably never use them. Uh, this is a cool item... All these, like, curse stuff I think is really neat. Just anything that kind of diversifies the combat spread I think is cool content and additions. Because, um, you know, it, it just kind of creates the scenario where, oh, there could be a monster someday where this is, like, actually the niche you want to fill. This is, like, the best in slot. This is going to have summoning shards. This is actually, like, super useful. Um... Because, you know, we're always trying to make summons. Holy! Oh, man, that's actually so sick. Okay. Uh, this is very cool, too. This is, like, now my best ring for doing summoning stuff. Uh, good to keep in mind. Same with this. Ooh, 10% summoning maximum hit. So, I don't think this is as good as the full summoning set we were using to fight barrier monsters before. But it's worth checking. This is a combat unlock, another curse mask, very cool. Uh, this is just stats, and there's damage reduction on it, which is kind of neat. Not going to be ever useful to me, but uh, neat. Uh, wow, okay, this actually seems pretty cool. Uh, this is quite strong. It stacks up to six times, so we end up with a plus 30% max hit. That's actually pretty huge. I could see this being best in slot for certain combat scenarios. Uh, basically, you're just hoping to close out the combat in six turns, which seems, like, doable. Uh, this random curse, okay, that sucks. Self-damage equal to 30% current hit points. Not really a big deal. Uh, the curse, I'm not really sure how bad it would be. But this, I think, has a lot of potential. Like, this might be relevant even at our insanely broken combat level okay that's that sellable stuff this uh was a crafting resource i had to get during the cartography speed up grind now i have a ton of them i hopefully can make all the other stuff i need uh torn parchment oh this gives us more paper all right i already have like infinity paper because i like overnighted making paper a few times uh but we'll we'll open a bunch of them just get even more paper sweet Crystal ball, cool. This is really neat. I, I saw this one before. I think this is a really cool item. Because, uh, yeah, you can pray poor sec item, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes you need your prayer slot. So this is, like, another way to go about it. Uh, at the same time, it's like, do you are you really ever going to need another prayer slot more than you're going to need your glove slot or your passive slot? I don't know, I don't know, but it's possible. And again, it's just like all this diversification of combat equipment, like breaking free of a linear hierarchy, I think is really neat. Just sellable stuff. Uh, these look like they're gonna do something. Maybe, like I don't really wanna sell any of this stuff because the, the possibility exists that in future content, they could be used as materials for something or they could get an upgrade. And these seem really ripe for that. Like, the fact that we get so many of them, they must be used in something. I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. Uh, this is pretty cool. Crit chances. I don't really know how the crit mechanics work, but we've got a ton of these, so it's worth experimenting with. 
Um, nice, more combat unlocks, a bucket, a marble, a shovel, a fossil. I think the fossil is pretty sweet. Uh, this I feel like you'd, you'd think it would do something. It doesn't seem like it does something, but that's pretty neat. Old headless arrows we can turn into regular uh, headless arrows at a one-to-one -one ratio, so that's kind of cool. This is the other quill feather, the broken oil lamp. This was the weapon we got for cartography. Uh, this is pretty neat. I don't think it's that great, <laughs> but burn is a useful condition, and it's like a very offensive offhand option, which is exciting. Uh, these are just sellables. This thing is badass. Do, do, do. Uh, this is kind of cool. So this goes in the gem slot, even though it looks like a horn. It's called a war gem. Okay, whatever. And the gem slot is kind of neat. I haven't really explored it too much because, you know, pretty much all the gems I have I just got during this grind and we haven't been doing any combat since. Uh, but some of them seem pretty interesting. Plus 15% max hit, minus 5% attack interval, and plus 5% lifesteal for three of your turns. So the main thing is the, the speeding up of attack interval. For drop grinds, this is, like, definitely best in slot because we don't need really any additional DPS, we're going to kill on our first hit every single time, and this just makes the first hit happen faster. So that's actually a sweet upgrade. This can give us a whole bunch of gold bars, but not old gold bars, but new, shiny, useful gold bars. Let's open a bunch of these. That's nice. Rusted ring we can't wear. Uh, so... <laughs> You downgrade these into 20 rope each. I think that's kind of funny. It's, like, inconsistent whether they want to use, like, a chest. Like, make this a chest that's full of rope. Or you downgrade it into multiple ropes per bundle. But either way, I don't know. It's funny. Uh, this, I think, is funny. I saw this before. That this game has no guns. And so, like, even the, the write-up doesn't understand what the gun is. Uh, too bad you don't actually understand how it works. Uh, I'm fine with that. I'm... <laughs> we don't need guns. It's, it's more fun fantasy stuff if there's no guns. Uh, this is just kind of some nice stuff. Uh, an interesting source of Barento. Um, you know, that's a pretty top-tier herb. Nice, okay. Wooden plank. This feels almost like an OSRS reference where lots of stuff drops planks of different varieties, which of course are used in construction. We don't really have a construction equivalent skill, so we just have some planks. Uh, blue jewel. This thing looks cool. Uh, maybe someday we can craft it into something. The torn fishing net. If we upgrade, if we get 10 of those, we get a fishing net. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to make another to-do. This is my current to-do of finishing off... The remaining artifacts. I'm gonna do get more of fishing net large from coral wreckage. 5x, we need 5x more. And I think there's gonna be a few of these we encounter. And then there's also going to be the shop upgrade ones. Uh, Sailor's compass, pretty cool. Uh, would have been useful, but uh, I didn't really care about the travel costs. I just cared about interval. Um, interesting that it goes in the ring slot. This thing's sweet. Uh, oh, this is a chest. Okay. And it contains more chests. Why not? <laughs> Wooden sign. Uh, another uh, crafting thing, which is cool. Bag of coal, I think, just will contain even more coal. Yeah, why not? Let's get a whole bunch of coal. Beautiful. Uh, these are really cool, the, the kind of secret ores. So we can smith these into Aronite bars. And then I think, yeah, under special items, we can make these Aronite shields. So none of that, I think, is going to be that interesting or impressive in terms of stats. 
But it's something that we're going to have to do for, like, item log completion and mastery and stuff. Uh, this is pretty sweet. Another skilling offhand thing. Uh, gold specs. <laughs> uh, this, I guess, also contains coal. Oh, it can contain all sorts of stuff. All right, let's check it out. Okay, sure. Little haul, fine. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. More fossils. Flax. Okay, this thing. Yeah, this is sweet. Plus three global mastery. That's actually pretty awesome. Now, right now, the archaeologist hat is doing more for us. Uh, is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're getting the archaeology mastery boost. And uh, I think that's better than this. But this is maybe best in some skilling situations. I don't know. Um, this just reduces cost. I'm not too concerned about that, but good to have. This was another unlock thing. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is going to be useful. Crafting grinds, location thing. Our tantalizing Melantis clue that we'll get to later. This was also lots of unlocks. Uh, candle lamp. We can upgrade the candle lamp to candle lamp lit, which is a consumable that gives us a ton of skill boost. I don't really care about that, but reduces the monster respawn timer, which is awesome. Uh, might be one of our best in slot consumables for content because of that, or combat. Uh, I don't want to upgrade all. Let's just upgrade a thousand. Why not? I don't know. Let's upgrade thousand again. Maybe I need the other candles for something else. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, peasant shirt. 8% chance to reserve resources and skills, but minus 30% global GP. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to do that, but uh, could be very useful for certain grinds. Sellable stuff. A sword. Not that great a sword, but a sword. What's in here? Bunch of amulets. Okay. Can't hurt to have those. We got a whole bunch of each of these. We could make another um, Fury of Elemental Zodiacs much more easily with those now. Plate, painting, knight. Book of Prayers. Plus one per chance to... Okay. Oh, huh, okay. That's pretty neat. Our knight plate body... Uh, this is pretty good. This might be the best GP increaser I, I would have to check. This is just a cool looking bow. This feels like it should combine with the lockbox somehow. But I guess we just smash it open and don't unlock it. Uh, this thing was really rare. I remember not getting it for a while. And it's quite strong too. Uh, does a cool special attack. Uh, so this is actually quite a powerful weapon. We're, we've just moved past it anyways, but still need to have large organ based. All this stuff is just cool to have. These we can bury. We would get a lot of prayer points, like over quadruple our current prayer points. Uh, so this is good to know, but uh, oh, I don't know. Let's bury, let's bury a bunch of them. Why not? Look at that. Oh, baby. Okay, so... Use for some item upgrades. Aha, yeah. So we want... Uh, so this is like the, the skilling version of the candle lantern. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't use up all the candles. Uh, this is a pretty cool consumable. Get another minus 3% interval. I think I care about that more than mastery right now. I'm just speeding up very slightly, but you know, not insignificantly. This bonus here. Uh, so let's make a few more of those.
Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Uh, where were we? Old music manuscript. Very cute. Uh, this is a prayer consumable that we will not have to use since we're maxed, but that's actually a lot of skill XP. Uh, another location thing. This thing is pretty sweet. It's a consumable, which is like, you know, pretty brutal because this was hard to find, but uh, it's a really, really cool effect. Um, I feel like it wouldn't be that broken to just make this like a static thing. You just have this as your passive and the first tur first two turns of every combat, you don't get hit. Like, what's the difference? Uh, this is a shop unlock one that I ended up getting enough of, which is cool. So we don't need any more of those. I'm pretty sure it's not like it's down here or something. Yeah. We, uh, we're just waiting on this. This is the big thing here. Uh, okay. Some doubloons. Some broken ship wood. A bottle of rum again. Why can't I equip this as food? Old pirate pants. Uh, this is pretty cool. Can maybe make a lot of money like this. This I just think is hilarious. It does nothing good for you, but it reduces your global accuracy by 50%. Maybe there's some absurdly niche scenario where you just want to miss every single time and get hit by a particular enemy, but I think there's other ways to accomplish that. This is very funny, though. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. You get 15% chance to double loot. But a plus 3% to, to get no drops. So it's like you, you just make the variance higher. But overall, this is like a good deal, right? Like, if previously I had a 20% chance to double loot, well, oh man, I have, to, I have to do some math here. So let's say we typically have a 20% chance to double loot. This brings it up to a 35% chance. That's pretty sweet. Uh, now we also have a 3% chance to receive zero loot. Uh, so basically the question is, the, the grind where this would be relevant for is like, things that drop like shards of weapons. I think this would net speed you up. Uh, for things that drop like equipment, you only really need one of its, the, the equipment, so who cares? For things that drop like bones that you might want or like a consumable item or something, then I don't know if this, I think that's still net good. Yeah, I think anytime you want like a whole bunch of one thing, this is net positive. I don't know if it's better than other stuff that can go into your ring slot or, or passive slot, but it's it seems good. It seems quite good. Definitely worth experimenting. Uh, this being an offhand that reduces your attack interval is sweet. This is really strong. This is just sellable stuff. Uh, this is a combat unlock. Uh, this would have been nice to get for the cartography grind, but we hit 120 way before the grind was over anyway, so it doesn't matter all that much. It's just that then you get the superior cape, and that speeds up the grind, and blah blah blah. So it like would have helped, but it wouldn't have been life-changing uh this i'm sure does something we got so many of them this is just stuff to sell uh this is kind of cool we'll get some gems from this quite a lot of gems boom way more doubloons um this is kind of cool like this can stack quite a bit but at the same time, I don't think it's going to stack so much that it becomes best in slot. It's just neat. Uh, so this was like the last stuff I got just going to new dig sites. And then past this is like cleaning up and getting stuff I missed from previous dig sites. Some jugs, some trawls, some ladles. This is kind of fun. Very niche, but could come in handy. Uh, this looks like you can open it, but you can't. This is just fun, <laughs> uh, as like flavor for finding the sacrificial site. <laughs> they have a flyer to hand to you. Uh, the skull, you can't bury. This will just contain bones, presumably. Yep, let's get a whole bunch of bones, why not? Sure. 
Uh, these are just... Oh, this is something. Deal damage to self equal to... But, ooh. These seem, like, pretty strong. This might be one of our better, like, overall stats consumables. So that's pretty neat. Uh... I don't know, like, this... I can't really judge the impact of hidden levels. Moreover, do hidden levels even do anything if I'm maxed? I'm actually not sure. Uh... I feel like if they do, then getting being at essentially level 100 and t or 123 for a lot of stuff, that seems really strong. I don't know. Old burned offerings, can't even bury them. Hee haw. Totem pole, circlet of pain. Plus zero to 40 reflect damage. Huh? The way this is worded is strange. Basically, you you your reflect damage is increased somewhere between zero and forty. Huh. Well, I don't know. You get damage reduction buff too. It's kind of neat. Cult robes. This is cool. The max hit thing. Sacrificial dagger. So this would be like a plus one hundred and twenty melee strength bonus. That seems pretty huge. Oh, but this is your weapon. It's not an offhand. So this doesn't enhance your weapon. Okay, never mind. Uh, this is pretty cool. This will definitely be helpful in future grinds. Uh, sure, sure. Large stone. Shatter stone. Shatter arrows. Okay, this is cool. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just make a few for the item log. Oh, I should have checked where my item log was. Well, it doesn't actually matter that much. But we're up to 100 and... Or... 80... 86% total, which is pretty sweet. Um, I should have checked what it was before I started the archaeology grind, but I would imagine it went up a lot. The anvil... Some air knight arrow tips that we'll use in fletching eventually... Nails that, again, feel like they would be useful in some sort of construction skill. Who knows? Still to come, perhaps. Or in shoeing horses in some sort of horse skill. <laughs> uh, we'll see. These are uh, smithing stuff. All smithing grinds. This I need one more. It's very annoying. Or I guess I need two more for the living item decks. Uh, so I'm going to say 2x magic anvil. Actually, thinking about the living item decks, we actually need six of these. And this is a large from the Mystic Forge, Ancient Forge. I thought about Magic the Gathering. But I'll get all of these after I finish the rest, because then I can get the final unlocks, which will make getting them even faster. Just upgrade stuff. Uh, this I presume I'm going to need more of. Yeah, we're going to need 10. Speaking of which, oh, it looks like we can afford to make all the dark steel stuff. I have a bunch of dark steel bars, too. I needed to make these for uh, the upgrades to cartography. So we need more of the relic plating. Uh, I guess we'll say... How many did I need? Ten. Okay, so ten x relic plating, which I assume is a large artifact from the ancient forge. Good, good. Putting together the game plan another unlock thing, my dark steel board, this is just there. A nice belt, it's very useful, trust me. Okay, I'll trust you and not get rid of it. Uh, this is pretty cool, this is probably best in slot for woodcutting now. Uh, but I think we're already done woodcutting yet again. Oh no, no, we gotta... Oh, actually... Okay, not anymore. <laughs> okay, we are done woodcutting. <laughs> I don't know why I hadn't done that before. Anyways. Uh, 
This is kind of cool. It's it's relatively strong, not crazy strong. This I saw briefly when I was just kind of checking out stuff as I got it. And it sort of annoys me because I do farming runs whenever I can, you know. Uh, I've been keeping it up. I'm at 3 billion XP. I'm at level 154. But more than that, I have like 30 billion plus in carrion logs. And I have like another couple billion in veggies and herbs and stuff, right? Like, this is this is basically my money-making method because it's totally AFK and ambient and happening in parallel with stuff. Uh, and I want to keep that up. Even if there's nothing that's ever going to require this much money, I want to keep it up. Um, just so I can buy 100 party hats or whatever. So now, like, these are pretty major upgrades. It's proper for me that before I do any farming run, I stop whatever I'm doing, or I guess I don't have to stop, but I, I very briefly switch to having this equipped instead of whatever I ought to. Which isn't really that big of a put out because it only takes like a second. Attach it, equip it, harvest, 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 plant, plant, plant. Uh, then re-equip what I had before. Not that bad really, but it's like... The ch there's chances for me to screw it up. There's chances for me to forget to re-equip the other thing. But I suppose at the same time, this already existed, right? There was this thing. But like, eh. It's like not actually that useful because I don't care about preserving that stuff. Uh, there's these like consumables, but since I have to create them, it's kind of offset. I could be throwing down weird goop every time, which I don't even know if I have in the bank. And I don't, because I can't be bothered to make it. Uh, well, I don't know. This is, this is actually kind of unique. Um, like, I suppose I should be equipping this as well. I don't know. This one is just like... Such a big upgrade. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll see. It's, uh... Just... Just something to think about. Alright, where were we? Uh, near the end. Amphora, very cool. Heavy boots. You got some nice defense, but it slows down your attacks. I don't think so. Uh, this I need a little bit more of. We need ten of these. So we need to get four more of them. Four uh, X statue of prosperity, prosperity large from mon mo, mo, monuments. Uh -huh. Oh, this can be upgraded. Ancient infernal cape. Badass. So I'd have to get another Ancient Sink for the Living, Silk for the Living item decks, but I'm not super concerned about that right now. What I am concerned about is getting this sick, nasty cape. And there it is. Old Spyglass. This would have been so nice to have during the cartography grind. I didn't even know about this. But whatever, we got it now. A uh, little mining speed up, that's pretty sweet. Enables the use of some magic curses when equipped. That's interesting. I want to play around with that. Magic flute! Oh, this is so fun. I assume it has, like... Oh, it's got some attack bonuses and stuff. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Charge element shard. I assume that does something. Unlock. Magical broomstick! Neat! I love it. The flavor is so fun. Is it strong? I don't think so. Uh, this is very useful. And then these are stuff that we just grabbed. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just do this? Is this the legendary thing I was looking for? It is! Sweet! We can move on to, like, our last one, which is just these medium things in the watchtower. Actually, I want to upgrade this map first. Okay, sweet. We, can... we found something and donated it. Live on video. How awesome. Uh, okay. So.
So this and this and this are all just stuff that we made. I think we've we've seen enough. We've discovered all of this. I'm gonna check my Discord messages very briefly. And then let's do a little combat exploring. Uh, it was just my boyfriend talking about manga, which I will talk to him about after. All right, let's plunge into combat. We got a lot of combat to do. And uh, I think this setup is fine. I don't know why that is equipped. Uh, throw this thing on, it's pretty cool. We got like so many awesome things now for consumable slot in melee. Uh, let's throw this guy on, why not? And then everything else looks pretty good. We're set up to fight barrier monsters, which I think we're gonna have to do a lot of. Okay, so these guys we fought already. This guy, these guys are new. Let's fight an evil oak. I think these guys are new, are they? Maybe we fought them before. Uh, yes, we did. Hee haw. All right, let's fight something else then. But let, let's see just kind of how, what's our DPS looking like? Oh, it's looking sick nasty. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, these guys we haven't fought, I don't think. Hello? Yeah, let's fight you. We got some good stuff. Poison Leecher. Now, I think basically the game plan here is to just kill one each of them, take a look at their drops, and then it's still going to be a little ways away that I actually start grinding for all these drops. Maybe, I don't know, I want to finish off uh, Archaeology first, and then, oh, let's see order I want to do this stuff. Uh, well, let's see, what does this guy drop? Poisonous arrows are the only new thing. I mostly am just doing this for the monster log. So there's a couple different ways I can go about this. Number one for sure, let's just write this down, game plan. Number one for sure, finish off archaeology. And then basically I can either do grind for drops in new combat or Finish off mastery, etc. For new skilling items, and I'm inclined to do it in this order because then I can respec everything off of skilling onto combat uh, before I do this stuff, which I think is worth doing. So I think that'll be the game plan. Ooh, poison bolts. That's cool. What do we get? Nothing like that. Okay. Let's fight a poison slime. Looks like a cool dude. Poison cape, okay. That's definitely like a unique. I feel like I saw all this before. Did we fight these guys before? I think I was just kind of looking at their drop table to see if it looked like anything useful for... No, okay, no, we caught, we, we fought them before. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll get to new content soon enough. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we fought this guy too. These guys we haven't fought yet. Here we go. Lost Temple. Are these things gonna own us? Oh, wow. Uh, that's pretty scary. But it's still under our auto-eat threshold, so I think we're okay. And we just tore it up. I was also worried that we would maybe get out dps by this thing, but uh, our, our barrier killing ability is strong. Um... What's in my gem slot right now? Yeah, this thing. So, I don't know, this is like not bad. Eroding barrier gem, I think is something we really want for these grinds and others. But uh, we're, we're doing a pretty good job anyways. Okay, let's fight a possessed barrel. I love these enemies, by the way. They're just guys. You think it's a barrel? No, it's not a barrel. It's just a guy. Uh, yeah, we're we're tearing this stuff up. And then as soon as Agile Wings hits once, it's game over. Uh, so this thing drops some stuff too. The Eroding Barrier Gem again. 
it looks like everything in this area drops, so probably the highest level monster will drop it most frequently. So we'll just fight that thing eventually. Let's fight the fake door. These things are in Mario Wonder, an excellent game. Cape of Illusion, that sounds sick. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot of items I'm excited to grind out and drops as well. But uh, as I said, that will probably come after we are done all the new skilling content. Yeah, we already looked at that. Oops. Elusive Roots. The rest of these are kind of like household things. And then this one is like, why am I even outside? Why am I even fighting you? <laughs> um, again, the Eroding Barrier Gem would be so sweet to pick up. The Mage Mask looks cool. Who knows what it does, but it sure looks cool. Uh, we'll just knock this out real quick. Come on now. There we go. Ah, this is way too long. Okay, here we go. And now... It's very satisfying fighting these monsters, because, like... The barrier lasts just long enough that you start, like, salivating. You're just waiting for the clean hit. And then you go in. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's fight some cultists. The cult member. Let's double check that we haven't actually already done this section, because... I don't know. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. We fought these guys. <laughs> It's just that I can't remember the order in which we unlocked stuff. Like, did we do these already? These are definitely new. Uh, we'll see. At, at a certain point, I'm not going to be able to just out-DPS these things. The barrier is going to be too strong. But until we get to that point, we're, we're going to keep fighting. This is all great. Nothing too scary. Uh, the hit point regen could be annoying, but really all that's annoying is barrier regen, which looks like it's becoming a problem. But, uh, I don't know, it's just like the, yeah, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One, one more. Yes. Now, stop summoning things. Yes, do that. No, how did it, how did you, oh, because the barrier came back. Agile Wings, here we go. Oh, and another Agile Wings, and you're down. So, Dragon Swords, Rune Swords, Treasure Tests, and the Ghost Scimitar is our unique here. These guys are pretty cool. Ghost Mercenary. Let's see what we're working with. A Ghost Blunderbow, alright, that's sick. <laughs> that, that missed so many times. <laughs> Uh, it hits eight times within one second. That's kind of cool. Um, it creates a very interesting effect when it keeps missing. <laughs> okay, the gates are open. We procced Agile Wings once. And again. And that does it. And we got some Diamond Bolts, which I used to be jumping up and down for joy if I got Diamond Bolts. But we've, we've moved past that era. Um... Let's fight ourselves a shipwreck beast. Oh, snap! Okay, well, we got Persec item. Uh, but this... Whoo, boy. I think we gotta swap combat styles here. But it's very annoying, because we have to transfer over all the summoning and nullification and blah blah blah. Uh, so I think instead we're just, we're just gonna roll the dice and see if we can kill this thing before it kills us. <laughs> we're, we're fighting here. We're really fighting here. I knew this would happen eventually. I knew we would run into stuff that I need to get specked out better to kill. So basically we're gonna have to come up with a, uh, anti-barrier style for each combat style. Alright, we, we got one anyways. Got some magic wand powerfuls. What else does this have? Foresight Wand. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, so it's, like, doable. Like, basically we're just trying to get lucky. But it's not like we have to get, like, insanely lucky. It's just a little bit of an uphill battle. Uh, this guy's fine. Because now we're on the right side of the combat triangle. Or at least the neutral side of the combat triangle. Um, of course, the insane barrier sizes are becoming annoying as well, but 
we're doing what we can. And we're getting some meaty hits in with the summon, which is great. Yup, that's another one. And another one. And now we're going to town. I don't even know what... What is this? Petrified. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm, like, stacking debuffs I didn't even know I had. No loot. Ghostly Parrot! Oh, well, I want that! <laughs> that changes things. And then these guys we can't fight yet. We have to find Melantis. Okay, let's check out new Slayer areas. These guys we already fought. These guys I don't think we fought yet, as far as I know. Yeah, they go in those four slots there. Alright. Took one out immediately. It's dropping some iron stuff. The granite mace is our unique here. Uh, ranged golem. Sounds like an oxymoron, but sure. I like this design a lot. I like that it has like random skeleton stuff inside of it. Wow, we tore through that so quickly. That was like back to back. One hit from the summon, one hit from the uh, sword. I love it. Earth Golem. I don't, it's so cute. I love this design. I really love this design. It reminds me of the Golems in Dungeon Meshi. Earth Wall Shield. Alright. Another one to keep in mind. The Magic Golem. A Mud Ball Staff is what we're looking for here. It would be nice if we got like one unique. Just from killing one of each of everything, it would be very fun to get one unique, but I don't think it is going to be in the cards. Alas. Okay, that's it for that. The Crystal Depths. We already fought these guys, because they dropped the pure Crystal Dust stuff. And I think that's, like, it then, besides dungeons. Yeah, like, these are the Melantis Bros. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We only fought... Okay, let's see if we can fight these other guys. The Crystal Manipulator. We'll see what we can do. We're like as specked out as we can possibly be. It's not going to kill us. Oh, but it is going to sanction us over and over and over again. Is that true? 100% chance to apply. Oh, but that's pre-hour our reductions. Okay, so this feels doable. Uh, We just, yeah, we got to get hits like that. <laughs> Um, it regens very quickly the barrier, or rather it regens a lot of barrier at the normal rate, so we, we do have to get pretty lucky. Like this has to land, and now we need, ah, uh, shit. <laughs> okay, now, 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 Agile Wings, Agile Wings, where's Agile Wings? That's fine, this is working okay, sweet, sweet, we got one. Large Crystal Bones. Uh, so these things don't really drop anything interesting besides the dust, which we already got plenty of. Let's fight this behemoth. Should be doable. Yep, this looks fine. And, ooh, enchanted diamond bolts. I don't even know how that works. I don't know if that's something I can produce on my own, or maybe that's like an actual unique drop. Um, but again, yeah, it's like... We just got to get lucky a few times to overcome the barrier regen. There we did not. And there we did not. Hopefully this time... Oh, and we did not. And uh, there we did, but it's going to regen in just like one turn. Yeah. Okay, that was a nice one. And then if this is a meaty one, and, and we're in. And Agile Wings is coming, and it missed three times! <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, and that now leaves just dungeon monsters and Melantis monsters. So let's do some dungeons. We've got a few unlocked. Or rather, we've got one unlocked, but I think we're gonna just chain through these. Let's fight the Golem Territory. I think these are going to be very one-shottable, because it's just the Golems we were fighting before. There we go. And again, let's see it. Boom. Oh. Boom. Boom. Nice. That's satisfying. 
The ranged golem fares the worst of all, since we're doing all of this in melee. Sorry, back-to-back -back ranged golems. You just saw your friend die. The same thing will happen to you. I am sorry to say. We're coming up on big golem. I'm just guessing that's what it's called. <laughs> um, check Discord quick. What monitor? Yeah, yeah, it opens on this monitor. All right, one more golem, and then we fight big golem. And uh, this golem chest, I'm intrigued by it. I assume there's going to be a couple uniques in there. This thing, okay, is not scary. Beautiful. End of turn healing, I don't care about that. It's just barrier regen is the only annoying thing. And we got through the barrier, and we got two golem chests. Let's take a look at those. So, this all seems pretty useful. Uh, Rune Claw, that's a new item, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, basically anything in here is exciting for some reason or another. Barrier Hunter Amulet. Uh, so I can throw this on the passive and it's like better than the Signet Ring, but like, uh, the Signet Ring is so good. I don't think the additional DPS is worth it right now. I'm sure there's better things we'll be able to get. Okay, so that entitles us now to fight in the Unholy Forest, which in turn, we need to beat a hundred times to get this. Archaeology, like I've never really run out of dig map site slots. That never was like a pressing concern for me. I just kind of do them one at a time. Uh, so this isn't like crazy enticing to me. I'm sure I'll get it eventually just because, you know, it's part of uh, obliterating every single scrap of content in this game as I want to do. But uh, yeah, like archaeology is almost done and I never really needed more than just two maps at a time maybe like to buffer overnighting or whatever. Uh, so we'll probably just do this once and then move on and come back to it just when it's time to clean up all the drops. Oh, these poor trees. I can see why you're so angry. You are probably attached to the ground in some capacity and cannot move. And here I come with my swords and my magics and my everythings and F you up. Just like that. Uh, the Raging Maple, a Canadian icon. Maybe the Leafs lost. And now you've lost. <laughs> uh, do -ka -do -ka -do -ka -do. So many debuffs, it's so crazy. This is such a fun way to fight, too. The Furious Mahogany. I didn't even get the chance to look at its abilities, that's so sad. Alright, so what could be in here? Unholy dust and unholy logs, not that interesting. Any of these things are unique and cool. And we got logs, sure. Okay. Now I think we can move on to the tricky temple. Which may be tricky, indeed. But we have uh, a big, big sword. Which is... And like a, a whole army of demons and dragons and ghosts. <laughs> that... <laughs> show up and fight for us whenever we are so inclined to get them. Uh, I like the theming in all these dungeons. I really like the the finding them within the world map and stuff I think is really cool. Um, I'm sure you know for new players where this is gonna be like the boss content for them it's it's gonna be a very satisfying progression. Uh, and for me, it's just, you know, it's just silly fun. Let's kill some barrels. Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, this this barrier style of fighting, it's very satisfying. As I said before, just like that feeling of the gates are open and then I just tear through the normal HP. Feels so good. 
Uh, but it's looking like all of the combat is going to be like mid-game combat for new players and stuff. And we talked before in an earlier video about how I think that's quite smart to flesh out the middle game and not just keep putting stuff further and further at the end game. Um, but it looks like we'll be able to do all of this, perhaps, with just our current equipment. If I don't friggin' miss eight billion times in a row, what is happening? And then I hit for a 68, one of my max hit is 1,224. What is happening? Why can't I kill this fake door? <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> okay, here we go. Anyways, as I was saying, the combat shouldn't be so hard. It looks like we can do all of it right now without really improving our stats. Just kidding. The frickin' fake door. I mean, yeah, I have a 53% chance to hit. Maybe we can... I, I, don't, I don't really need this. Uh, yeah, this, this should help a little bit. It's more just that I'm hitting like 12s. There we go. What were you guys doing? What were you guys doing? Do you not want to fight your ally, the fake door? All you demons and curses and stuff are just so enamored by this guy. Come on! There we go. Okay, agile wings. Nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Another fake door! <laughs> okay, there we go. Right off the bat with a 239. That's not bad. 385. This is what I want to see. There, this is what I want to see. That last one was just, like, abnormally lucky, I suppose. Silly. Okay. Come on now. There we go. Get the summons in there. Get the stacks on. Get the dots. The agile wings. Some roots. More magic. The chance to hit is way higher, though. For some reason, that door was just, like, really hard to hit. That, like, one particular door. Even the other door had 69% chance to hit. I don't I don't really get it. Um, but we're, we're doing fine here. This is how it ought to be. And then, boom. Here comes Agile Wings right on time. Oh, it... Ah, it regen barrier just in time. I was gonna get so... Stomping with those agile wings. Here we go. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, yeah. As I, I, I kind of predict that we'll be able to do all of the combat at least a bit. Like at least one run through of all these dungeons and stuff, as we are now. The Melanthus monsters, I don't know, maybe they'll be really tough, but we, we don't have those unlocked yet. Um, Puppet Master. Not gonna kill me, not gonna kill me. Gonna kill me, gonna kill me! Oh god, oh god. <laughs> what does this do? An unavoidable attack that deals damage equal to 100% of your max hit. On a hit, dambles all damage for your attacks until the end of the attack. It hits for my max hit? That's not fair! What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> That's crazy! Okay, well... Let's just hope it doesn't use it very often. <laughs> or that we dodge it when it uses it. Okay, we got through it. That's actually so scary. I, I don't know what the best way to deal with that is. That seems very hard to AFK. It hits for your max hit. Alright, some more barrier eroding stuff, which is all going to be fantastic for these grinds. Let's look at our rune essence. Yeah! <laughs> uh, okay. Now, I think we unlock one more dungeon. Uh, cult Grounds. So this could be scary. Like, we're getting to the edge of what is doable. Uh, but, uh... I think we can make it through this dungeon, at least. If we can friggin' get a hidden, please... Did something change? Did something get worse? We haven't run out of dragons. We haven't run out of specters. Hmm. Well, whatever. I think it's just when I'm paying attention, I notice the zeros more. I notice the misses more. And, uh... When I'm not paying attention, I'm like, oh, this is going pretty fast. And then it's, like, actually just going at the speed the whole time. 
This is a long video, by the way. I just realized we're over an hour now. There's a lot to do, a lot to get caught up on. And, you know, if I was a good content creator, this would have been three videos and they would have come out over the last month uh, at like a weekly cadence or something. Uh, but instead, it's much more a situation of, oh, I have time to make an hour long video now. And I didn't have time to make 20 minute long videos before. Uh, but it is what it is. Here we are. Killing call temps. <laughs> All right, that's good. The lich. Uh, nothing too scary here. Clean that one up very fast. I like to see it. That's what I love to see. This can be two hit barrier. All right, three hit barrier. I'll take it. And agile wings just annihilates it. Call monster. Kill a couple of these. And then I, I suppose we'll be fighting the cult leader themselves. I like that there's little plots woven through the different activities, like we discover this ritual site in the world map, then we excavate it in archaeology, and we find the cult flyer, and then that allows us to find the cult grounds on the world map. Then when we get there, we go and kill everybody in combat. <laughs> it's essentially how it goes. We we must assume that the the cult is doing something bad. Okay, normal attack is 436, which is scary but acceptable. Uh, everything else is fine. Weakening touch is annoying. Lots of annoying things, but uh, really the only annoying thing is barrier regen. And everything else we can deal with easily. We just gotta get some good barrier hits. There we go. Agile wings. I love it. Another agile wings. And we're good. Um, Alright, what's in this guy? Woo! All new stuff! Oh, except for curse logs. <laughs> I do have some curse logs already. So that's probably what we'll get. Hey, okay. But we got one thing at least. Ah, it's just freaking prayer points. Okay, whatever, whatever. It's all good. Moving on. Okay, so this one we do indeed to need to find Melantus. And uh, that's that's what we've got left. We've only got the Melantus monsters and this Melantus boss left. I don't know why this guy goes here and not over here, but whatever. Uh, so let's find Melantus. Okay. I want to try to figure out how to do this on my own. All of the, like, clues and puzzles in this game, I always end up having to cheat. Because I'm a dummy. Uh, so let's... Let's figure this one out. Remarkable discovery at the pyramid. So, go to pyramid. This is my theory. We're theory crafting here. Uh-huh. We believe that channeling water, the source of life and renewal into these pathways will reveal the interest of the... Mystic water gear equipped all right let's do that thank you some guy we'll just equip everything to this one because why not so mystic do i not uh-oh i just have accolade Whoa, what the heck? I didn't know about all this. Whoa, okay. Is this what I need to do? Uh-oh. But, 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 but. We go into rune crafting. I thought, you know, we would have this stuff. Why don't I have any of this stuff? <laughs> uh, I thought I would have had this stuff. I just have expert fire. Okay, well that's weird, but whatever. Let's make some of this stuff, because I can just make it. That's that's no problem. Make one of you. One of you. One of you. One of you. Okay. Equip. 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 Do I have to upgrade it? 
I don't think so. Maybe. But I'd, I'd have to get a lot of this stuff, so that's not gonna happen anytime soon. The pyramid. There's this. Um, excuse me. There's this. Uh, it's less of a pyramid and more of a ziggurat, though. Uh, Alright, let's go here. Why not? Alright, now we're here. And nothing happened. Got all this stuff. Water. If I also equip this. Whoa, it's got a... Since when did it have that animation? That's cool. Maybe I need the ultimate water staff as well. Which is... Mystic Water Staff. I'm a genius! <laughs> well, that wasn't that hard to find out, but I'm a genius. Okay. Start to channel the essence of water. Neat. Adorned with vibrant murals. Very cool. Pick up the ancient relic. Your eyes are in three locations. This wants to be taken somewhere related to the mural. All right. I don't know why I got it twice, but sure. A sketch of the mural from the pyramid. Okay, sweet. All right, let's... This is a cool puzzle. I'm sure I can figure this one out. So... You have to find... This part of the coast. This is here. Okay, so that's bottom right, and then this part of the coast is here. Okay, so here and here, and then this thing is here. Okay, so we're looking for a triangle between... Here, here, and here, which is like here ish. Hey, nice, nice. Arrive at a mysterious island in the middle of the lake. Glows, grows, glows brighter as you enter the forest. Hewn brown stone walls are illuminated by the disc you make in your way to the circular chamber. Uh huh. And another tablet. A vision of conflict between two ancient nations. Your head is filled with the knowledge of their language as the visions flash forward in time. Near the end, you catch the glimpse of somewhere that appears to be in the present. You quickly sketch what you can remember from the vision and stash it in your bag. Read item. Sketch of the location from my vision. Well, that's not super detailed, but I'm sure we can figure this out. For once, I'm not cheating. I'm solving puzzles on my own. Okay. Let's look for this. Hmm. I've been watching a lot of, uh competitive jigsaw puzzling videos lately. Karen Puzzles, a very fun channel you should check out. This kind of reminds me of that. Uh, hmm. Just kind of looking for these colors. My, my two monitors have very different color grading. <laughs> so I want to like I have to like look to see <laughs> what does it look like on this monitor for consistency. Uh, 
I don't see anything that quite looks like this. Hmm. Puzzling, puzzling. Green and brown, right next to each other. I keep thinking it's going to be a coast, but it doesn't have to be a coast. Is it this? No. Oh, is it this? No. I'm still looking for ghosts. What, what else could it be? Something around here? There's none of that brown color. Yeah, no, the, the foggy thing wouldn't show up. Oh, oh, here? No, that's not quite the right color either. Wait, wait, here? No. Ah, uh, we're so close. We're so close. Uh, this is like, I'm not good at this sort of thing, you know? I'm not good at, like, visual matching, because I don't have a very strong, like, uh, visualizer in my brain. Like, I don't see things clearly just with my imagination. On the Apple scale, I'm, like, low on the Apple scale. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, decent at, like, recognizing things. Like, we play, uh, Framed and Guess the Game, and I'm, like, okay at those, but only, like, specific types of things, like 2D video games I can recognize pretty easily. Something like this, where it's just like, you're given something right away and there's no like association with it, and then you have to identify it. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Okay, maybe we cheat now. <laughs> I'm just not seeing it. I'm just, is it like turned? Is it, like, rotated in some way? That's throwing me off. It's just like, where is this color of brown? I don't see that color of brown anywhere. Right? It's not that brown. Literally, Daft Punk... Oh, oh, is it that brown? No. Daft Punk 2020 created a song, Who's That Brown? And that's my life now in 2023, 2010 to 2023. I'm still asking, who's that brown? Is it this brown? Oh, maybe it's this brown. And there's like not a lot of stuff here. Mm. Uh, do we cheat? Do we cheat? Uh. Ah. What the heck? Why didn't I sketch it better? Uh, I don't know where it is. I don't know. Here? No, it's not the right color of brown. Friggin' forget who's that brown. Where's that brown? Where's that brown? Oh, I'm getting so wrecked. I. I... Uh huh. One fifteen. One. One, one. Hey. 
What? Oh, it's the roof of the dang house. Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't know if I ever would have thought of that. Oh, I got a random travel event, too. Dang. That's not a bonus. <laughs> we got attacked by some pirates. That's not nice. Ruined Silver City. Touch the barrier, but hand presses right through. Mm, note in the ancient language. I can decipher the meaning. Under threat through the ancient conflict. To use to evacuate and retreat to a larger city in the south. Some sort of poem. You can't shake the fact that it's more than mere poetry, so you translate it and put it into your bag. Whoa, maybe down here. It says bigger city further south. Beneath the swirling abyss, a city lot lies waiting for the one who dares to rise. Wow, I put in a lot of work to translate it into a form that rhymes. <laughs> From the depths so far below, to break the slumber of long ago. By, fi by finding the city requires great care. Three enchanted objects you must wear. The robes of water's eminence. An ancient cape with fiery grace. And a mirror to see through any place. Oh, the, uh, the, there was like a mirror drop... <laughs> From that one monster, maybe we just don't have it. These objects you're prepared to find the hidden path that's hard to find. Watch out for illusions that may mislead, and magic that tries to make you concede. But with these objects, you're well protected, so we can brave the bird the but with Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> Robes of water's embrace. I imagine that's that. Fiery fire cape. I, I think we can probably just use the normal one. I guess. And uh, a mirror. This we just might not have. Yeah, we don't have any mirror thing. Shoot. Am I really not gonna be able to unlock it today? Right now, in this video? After we came so far, uh, this thing drops the trickery mirror. I just want to check. Ancient Infernal Cape. Bro, do I even have that? I do, yeah. Sweet, okay, nice. But then, yes, the trickery mirror. Shoot! One in a hundred chance, yeah, we're... Okay, anticlimactic end to the video. <laughs> but we're gonna be grinding for this mirror now, and hopefully it won't take us that long. We switch back to Barrier Crushing Man. Let's check to see if we have any other barrier reduction stuff. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. This is about as good as we got. Uh, and, uh... Alright, I'm gonna... Frick up these friggin' mirrors. Until we get ourselves a... Trickery mirror. And then I'll probably make a little extra video. Since this one had such an anticlimactic ending. But hey, we got a lot done. We got a lot done in this one. So, please look forward to, hopefully, a... An adventure soon into the city of Melantis. Maybe we'll get it right now. We got it right now! <laughs> what all hope was lost. Oh, what I thought. The 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 journey was over. Oops, I didn't I didn't equip that the way I wanted to. Oh my gosh. Oh, when I thought. Oh, what will we do? Ho ho ho! This is a cool attack, by the way. Alright. And it said, South of the Swirling Abyss. Which, uh... Around here somewhere. Two twenty-eight. I'm just 
that were it. Yeah, I, I knew there was something called this, the Swirling Abyss. And boom! <laughs> oh man, oh that felt so good. Oh, that felt so good. Oh my god, I can't believe we got that. Okay. Sweet. Um, I'm going to... Let's just do some digging. Screw it. I was like, I'm going to go upgrade the map first. Which I'll do, but... Let's, I want to do some digging. Oh, baby. Let's throw them all on there. I want to get everything. There's so much stuff to get. Oh, baby. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, we already got something. What did we get? Uh, a different shell. <laughs> different than the shell we got before, which I assume does nothing. Yeah. But that's cool. And we got some kelp. Hey. This isn't exciting at all. It's just... It's just crap. <laughs> No, there's gonna be some. There's gonna be some hype stuff. Uh, we're gonna get those ancient digging tools for sure, and we're gonna get some other groovy stuff. I'm I'm very excited. A large shell. <laughs> Let's get something cool. <laughs> Don't these people have stuff? A silver stone brick. Now that seems useful. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, a golden flute! Summons the Mer Goblin to provide you with a random reward. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, so let's donate one. We'll donate one. Nice. That was uh, extra spicy. That we, we jumped down the table a little bit. That was a rare. Um, and then let's open three. I'm not even going to look at chest contents. I just want to see. Garum seeds. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, wow. Oh my god, it can be a lot of stuff. That's cool. A silver armband. I'm donating it. Sweet! Alright. We're, we're so close now. We're so close. Uh, there's so much stuff to get here. I, I guess this is the end of the video, because what are we going to do? Just sit here waiting to dig up stuff? Oh, I'm so happy we got the mirror. Oh, that would have been so sad to leave it on such an anti-climax after coming so far. <sighs> good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. I, I don't know. I'm not sure when I'll get a chance to make another update. Um, but hopefully at that time there won't be a bajillion hour and a half worth of things to cover. But if you watched this whole thing, I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun recording it and sharing these discoveries with you. Uh, so yeah, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.